this, this deck rules. Best of one, it's time to have fun. So I, I wasn't sure what to do with all the free time, so I just kind of invented a bunch of bullshit work. I started doing the day nine daily, every single night. I started to uh, make a bunch, I shouldn't say a bunch of, like, cause you know, you only do one at a time. Started to work on some games with my, my buddy Dan, Super Daniel Man. Dude, can you imagine getting a Gargos? Ooh. Uh, by the way, we're done with drafts for today because the drafts, at least for me personally, take a little bit of time. Let's get the goose in. They take a good little bit of time, so uh, we only got an hour left to go. Whatever you want to ditch, I accept. You want to get a Mori out? That's fine. That's fine. I give a shit. Welp. One, two, three, four, five. X equals three. B is six, seven is pretty good. Let's pass the turn. Send in this guy. Seems good. Nice. Uh, so I was doing the game projects. I was doing the daily. I was doing some educational research games for kids. Doing some of that juicy goosey. And then, as quote unquote luck would have it, this one, as luck would have it, started streaming StarCraft 1, and then StarCraft 2 got announced. And then I switched streaming platforms to Ustream, and then to Justin TV, and then Justin TV became Twitch. In a sense, that's like luck. In a sense, that's the luck part, but um, the part that I did have control over, which was, I'm going to do this kind of project, I'm going to do this sort of thing. It actually created a situation. Oh, you have totally screwed the pooch here, Elema. I hope everyone sees exactly how dead this dude is. One, two, three, four, five, six. This. Seven. Uh, I think X can equal nine here. Pretty fun, right? Pretty fun. This is a competitive deck, too, but it doesn't have a bunch of gigantic fucking Hydralisks, so, you know, what are you gonna do? Part of me wanted to double the number of counters on it, but I know this is the best play. But, like, let's imagine that StarCraft 2 never got announced. I would have just started a studio with my friend Dan. Maybe Lee and Sean, too. So those guys rule. Whenever it becomes any creature becomes target of a spell. All right, nice. Let's just get another voracious hydra off the top, huh? Sick. Marlo, gift in five. Thanks, Marlo. Thank you kindly, Marlo. And so I feel like, in that sense, like I chose to work with Dan. Fuck, you messed up, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I will definitely put that one back on the top, for sure. Has anyone ever worked on a project? worked on a project with someone that you just don't work well with. And I want to stress don't work well with, not who is a total shitter. Just who you just don't work well with. And you go, hey, you're great. 
doesn't work well with you. One of the big reasons why I love game jams, short-term projects, is it's an opportunity for you to go, yeah, do I, do I actually work well with you? And you'll learn a lot. No. And so how would you make your own luck in that situation? The best way to make your own luck in that spot is just to do it a bunch of times. Just do it a bunch of times. Try, try out with a whole bunch of different people. Because then at some point you're going to get lucky and you're going to go, whoa. Muggle Clutch 1 says, Day 9, how do you think you are to work with? Ooh, I love this question. I think this is an important question for anyone that wants to work on any projects. Um, l l let me start with the ways in which I think it would be a struggle to work with me. One, um, there are certain projects where I really don't want to be not in control. So, for instance, if we were a... Take the Magic the Gathering World Championships. The Magic the Gathering World Championships. I, I don't have a personally very strong opinion about, like, the composition of the show. Or something like that. Um, and so if they're like, Sean, I want you to stand there and do this thing. I'm like, yeah, sure, you got it, man. Great. In that regard, I'm easy to work with it there. X equals six. Trying to hopefully find room. You know what? I'm going to do this now. But there are shows that I've been a part of where I actually cared quite a bit more. And I am pretty intense if things, if there is an issue in some location. I'm quite intense. Do you yell at people? There are times, yeah, when I do. I would describe that I do not... No! Are you kidding me? Let's resolve this. Let's put it on the top. I don't think that um, I am like an unreasonable nasty yeller. I'm not like you're an incompetent fool, you know, or any of that nonsense. But I am not shy about being very stern when there's an issue. Especially if someone is not hearing me. And so, like, um, you know the phrase, too many cooks in the kitchen? Like, actually, here, here's a really good example. Here's a great example of how someone maybe would not have wanted to work with me in some regard. Uh, remember our good friend, The Gauntlet? The gauntlet is awesome. The gauntlet is something I had a very sharp, very clear vision for. And if someone was like, hey, Sean, I kind of want to do this, you know, slightly different, I'd be like, absolutely fucking not. This is exactly how it's going to work. I don't say it like that, but I would go, no, no, no. I, we, I think we definitely should do it in way X, Y, Z. Uh, do I want to double it a shitload? Do this once. I mean, there were times in that process where there was some feedback like, ooh, I think it maybe should be maybe like this instead of like that. And I was like, no, I think it should definitely be this way. Now, imagine if you just gave some feedback and I pushed, I, I basically just said no to that. Um, that could make someone very frustrating. It could make someone feel like they're not being heard. Now, I, do, I just do not commute. No! I do not communicate it as sharply as I'm saying right now, but if you were looking for a real 
collaborative back and forth where everyone's ideas are being accounted for equally. I mean, I actually, in a lot of regards, I just, like, do not believe in that. Goodbye. Hello. We could actually probably get away with a bunch of these. So I think that one thing that is nice about... One thing that I try to do in a lot of teams is take the extra time to communicate, but, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think there's an issue. I'll say, like, dude, this is an issue. <laughs> oh, Heliano, you're so sweet. Says, having worked with Day9 on an event where he hosted, I can confirm that it, Sean is absolutely a dream come true in a situation where he is there as talent. I cannot speak to you as a project manager. It's brought, well, well, thank you, Heliano. What, what event was it? Oh, Heliano, oh my goodness. Send in the bird. I can imagine, too, that I might be frustrating in... Uh, where, where is... Where is How Is Even? This thing. Rawr! That's some bad bone crushing. Arguably, I should always hold this back to destroy the uh, fires of invention, but I don't give a shit. Heliana says, I worked with CSL for five years. You came and casted our finals at the Auto Museum. Oh, that was a fun event, man. Oh, thank God. The gem razor is going to go back. Whew, what a relief. Arr, that's me flipping tables. Creature. I'm taking a few too many words to say, but yeah, no, I, I, I can imagine these sort of... There are some people that actually like a much more directive-driven management experience. I do believe, like, I am aware that I often have very sharp opinions about how something should be done. And there are people who just... Dude, they just want... To, like... Be t just like, you do this, you do this, you do this, and I, I like to try to soften that sharpness by communicating and all this sort of stuff. What you gonna do, Bone Crusher? If this dies, that is just so tight. Maybe we should have played the questing beast and mushed into the face. Maybe we make you a mistake. -y. Can't say for sure. And so, and I also am a big fan of trying to give explanations for why I think the thing, as opposed to just saying, do this thing. I'm like, well, here's the reasoning. We could have done this. We could have done that. But I told you this, and here's sort of principle that I'm going for. And uh, I have encounter people that actually get quite frustrated with that. They're like, just just say the thing that you want to be the thing. Just fucking tell me, man. No, I am not making this up as I go. And what's interesting oh, is also meant. when you discuss like if you're blunt, like, do this, do your job. Some people find that helpful. I like, again, more communicativeness. But some people actually interpret the excessive communication as indecision, and it makes them anxious. So I can mutate this. Okay. What do I think about Nylia instead of Amori? Uh, increasingly, I think Nylia is probably strictly better, but just giving Amori a try. 
Get me out of here! Let's give it a shot. Nah, Leah. I don't know. I think I'm pretty good to work with. Why was that a conceded 20? Because our opponent's deck is built to deal like 25 damage in one turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a hand right here. Something that's really kind of interesting with a lot of the project work I've done is uh, it's quite different compared to a lot of typical project management experiences because it's very spiky. The Jeskai colors. Holy fuck. Uh-oh. Doing this now. All right, this is this is the Winota, the Winota Rider deck. We we might be dead. Believe me, I know. Who's ready to lose horribly? Winota's coming down next turn. Yeah, I mean, instead of being like, here is the team that I'm working with, and I'm working with them for six months or a year or something like that. It's a lot of, like, work with this team for one month, work with this team for three months, work with this team for a few weeks, so on, so on, so on. Guys, we lost. We, we are as dead as dead can be. For any of you who are unfamiliar with this deck, watch this. Winota says whenever you attack with a non-human, summon a whole bunch of bullshit from your deck. Fuck. Wow, only summoned a single Agent of Treachery on turn four. Does mutating activate Gorgos? That is an interesting question. Does mutate trigger this? Does anyone know? Is mutation a type of spell trigger? It is. That's so interesting. Let's be obnoxious. So we have to cut this. All right, what's our sideboard look like? Where's our life gain guy, huh? Let's make the bluntest deck ever. Let's get ready to go into best of three. Uh, boom. I don't know. What are, what are we worried about, man? What do we, what keeps us up at night? Mystic Repeal, love it. Boom, surprise. 
It's time for best of three, man. Look at, look at how easily and quickly I sideboard. Just done. Aaron Tue says, hey, Day9, happy 64 months. So, sup, hope the pandemic hasn't impacted your content too much. Uh, you know, kind of seems okay. You know, I had all my work canceled for like a year. <laughs> I had like all my work canceled for like a year, which feels weird. Looks good to me. Chances of us getting there are 100%. So like a vacation? <laughs> yeah. Whose channel do you think this is, man? So we see Yorian. It could be Yorian Fires. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm having a good day, Share Bear. Oh, it's such a good cat. Benjamin providing five to us. Why, thank you. <gasps> I was going to go get water, but you're right. That's not what time it is. It's afternoon snuggle time. Come on. Come on okay, hold on. We, we, have, we have a very tentative alliance right now. There it is. There's our little buddy. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, what a, what a sweet little princess you are, huh? Yep. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm miscounted. No, I have good news for myself. Yep, I am running this card. You know, being being on two land is. Couldn't you just pay that? I need to pay three. I only have two. It's tragic. It's just a tragedy, is what it is. It's tragic. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. Well, that's just terrible. Isn't that just really sad? Where are we going? What do we want? Do we want this shoulder? Do we want that shoulder? Um, all right. This food. Left shoulder has nothing on right shoulder. Yeah, that's, I think it's because she's learned that I need my left arm to hold her. And the right arm. No attacks. <laughs> oh, I see the five. Yeah, what are we looking at? Yeah, what is that? That is now the hairiest shirt that the world has yet known. We may win this yet, man. We may win this yet. Unless it's just like tap down. Tap down expansion explosion. I think land into Gargos would be nice. Fuck. You know what? Out of shame that I can't cast and blow stuff up, I'm gonna concede. I'm gonna concede that. Which is which is a very painful thing to do. 
So the thing is that we're obviously bringing the Gem Razor and the Mystic Repeals, and we're bringing the Shifting Seropals. Good. Good. And then I think the Nylia is probably a little bit slow and clumsy and awful. And I think we might just pull out our Gorgos. Pull out a little Paracoglas there. Are, are Voracious Hydras the right one, though? All of our shit dies to Storm's Wrath, though, and that's pretty bad. Whatever. Ba -da 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 -da. We were actually remarkably close to winning that game. Remarkably close. For a deck that looks actually quite bad, but is awesome. Do I want to be on the play tonight? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Amy Yui, what is up? I liked your tweet like three weeks ago. Mmm. I will remember you. Do you remember me? Lionheart19 says, well, I got a sub. Surprise, Lionheart. Playing green makes me so happy, dude. It just makes me the happiest little camper. Hello. Pitzel says, who in your opinion has the most entertaining Twitter feed? I don't know if I actually follow anyone's Twitter feeds. Like, go to their feed and, like, look and be like, and what are you as a Twitter feed? I just simply don't spend terribly much time on Twitter. Do I want an uncounterable hasty tops? You bet two of your butts. I sure do. SW Meepo says, I apologize, but I have to go watch Artosis Rage. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. You love to watch it. Can't get enough of it, man. Bye, everybody. Why wouldn't I want to play someone who's an advocate of monsters? And look, there it is. Uh, reach, for sure. Every look, we, we even got a Yem Razor. I just love to see the Yem Razor. Is it time to blow up a Wilderness Reclamation? Watch this. Watch this. Watch. Are you watching? Tap this. Gives us six. X equals three on the stack. The converted mana cost is five, which then allows me to go find another motherfucking Ceratops. Here it comes. And because we left that one mana up from Castle Garenbrig, we can now activate this to provide it with haste. Mm. The absolute spectacular synergies. It's a brazen borrower. Oh no, it's a voice in power. What will I do? That baby voice actually just has... It, just, it grates on me when I do it. It's hard. Ooh, woo, etc.
What the? What the hell do I do? I think I'm just gonna Vivian, man. Diversity is our greatest strength. That's pretty good. Mm, opt. Dot by do. Opt. Oh, yeah, Bant Zerda. Zerda, Zerda, Zerda. I keep forgetting about Zerda. I keep me forgetting about Zerda. come back to a sideboard what's happening is the game glitched someone help me out here what's going on i don't understand i can't wrap my head around what i'm seeing oh wait we absolutely destroyed a felonone and i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a fallen one but a felonone actually is so much more fun to say it's me a felonone Felino. This looks like a hand that I'm going to want to run. A Felinone. Here comes the first. Hello, it's me, a Felinone. This is the omen of the sea. The C-E. Oh, yeah. I am a happy camper, man. If we beat any Yorian deck with this absolutely, clearly subpar deck, it's going to tickle me. Aether Gust! Disregard a Felonome. In the dome. World spiral. Opt. Ooh, even better. Ow. Ooh. Oh. So if the Paradise Druid is zapped in response, Gem Razor still lands and the Mutate effect still triggers, correct? Yeah, I'll do it like this. It's gotta be good. Alright, coming in. I sense a very powerful storm's wrath in my future. I can see it now. But we're going to get a land off the top, which is going to be very helpful for hasting in the ship and Ceratops. Alright. This game is not that complicated. Questing beast off the top. Let's keep the calls coming. Ooh. Ooh. I'll double it. Get him! Take that, a felon own. 
The team has been assembled. Aw, oh, what a fuck. Well, a fella known as pretty low on options. I think we're gonna see a little friend Yorian come down. Uh oh, scrying for land and then trying to draw two. One top and this one. Does it come down? Oh. Uh oh. Wow, someone make you risky. Sorry, Sheriff. <clears throat> this is good for the sweat. Two Aether Gusts. <clears throat> hey, are there any obviously broken um, green cards against blue? Any, like, obviously broken? <laughs> Veil of Summer. Wow, what a bullshit card. That card is, like, th th actually the most broken card I've seen in, like, so long. I mean, that card was just, just busted. I mean, it was strictly busted. <clears throat> you got it, man. We maybe could have won that one. No. Sweet, sweet X costs in the manas. Uh oh. If I can be one Yorian deck with my decks, then it's a good day and it's a good life. Ow. What a bastard. I'm really sad to say that my goose is not long for this world. <clears throat> Love to see it. If there is a counter spell in this deck, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I would assume that there would be more enchantments. Uh oh. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? It's tail's end. There is no way to prepare against tail's end for any of you who are curious. Get in there. Make your fellow Gooseys proud. Okay, so we, we see Esper Yorian. It's fine. I'll play the exact same thing again. Not quite exact. <laughs> well, I'm just playing a fucking 8 9 Voracious Hydra. This has converted mana cost too, so it gets around Elspeth Conquers Death, which is funny. Uh oh. All right, Fartleby. Extinction event. Uh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. Well, looks like someone's about to declare even. <sighs> even. I just cannot get the image of like an omnipotent evil godlike voice booming from the heavens odd or even. No, Narset. Fuck yeah, we're winning. Dodge this. Stop. Dodge this. Why the second one and not the first one? It's all so clear now. Let's get a Vivian right off the top. Oh, what a shit card. <laughs> oh my god, I hate seeing this card so much. God. I maybe we can put a third one in here. I forgot this comes out untapped, so that's actually, it's actually like a pretty sick card, you know? It's like the same as a forest, except it draws. It's like a forest that draws, but it doesn't produce any green mana. Ah, uh, that is not gas. Yeah, you know what? Flicker your Yorian. I don't think I won't try to activate it. I tried. I tried and I failed. I'm devastated at this outcome, you know. I'm devastated. But I'm not that devastated. I don't think our sideboarding plan is that complex. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I want gem razors? Not especially. Do I want huge Godzillas? Especially. I can't believe we got tails ended. That's so that's so terrible. That's what really threw us into Pickle Town. I don't want to ramp to Cogla. It's going to be fancy. Oh, thank the stars. This is a grand old outcome. Tail's End. A Tail's End, a Tail's End, a Tail's End, a Tail's End. Hooray. Let me tell you, Cogla's gonna fight the wall, man. You've never seen a wall get so dunked on in your whole life. Also, I'm in desperate need of mana. Who keeps the Mystic Disputes in? Against this deck, who does this nonsense? Bam. I think in the sideboard we need Destiny Spinners. 
I think the sideboard, we need to get rid of these Satessan Petitioners. Don't you dare. Satessan Petitioners are, I think, stupid. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. What are you looking for? This generates two mana, one mana for three mana. Train harder. Ugh, I must train harder. Cast a shadow of the sky. I dare you to. I dare you to, you dumb, dumb, dumb head. Mm. This card can't be interacted with fancy. We need destiny spinners on the side. That's it. That's what we need. The destiny spinners. That's the one. This is enough mana for a tail's end, so I can't play this guy. Haste. Sound like Gargalios. A fucking tail's end. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Fancy's Fancy's getting low. Fancy's getting low on stuff. Protection actually stopping from uh, tails ending. Uh, it doesn't even interact. It's an activated trigger to legendary. You know, let's let's just do this twice, huh? Let's do it two times. The one mana gives Ceratops haste is an activated ability. Oh, that one. Oh, that fucking one. Yeah, you can do that one. Yeah, no, of course. Take the Teferi. See if I care. I never have before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and then we're gonna play Cogla. Oh yeah, we fight this, bam. Kapow, and then watch this, then we play this, and guess who, guess who's just feeling a little bit frisky? It's Nylia. Yeah, all right, sick. We're gonna win this game, we're gonna win. That's fine. Take it out. The correct one to exile is Nylia. We're doing it. You show remorse, I'll show restraint. I've got time. What can I say? He has got me. Always take this one out, no matter what. This is hard, Always. My worst defeat. I am a notorious 11 11. Whoops. I'm a notorious 10 11. 
winning this shit, man. Rah. Give me old Bonner's uncle. I don't even know. This is the next level play. Oh, you want to exile something that costs three or more? Mmm. Fuck yeah. I hope that Yorian is the one that gets played. I hope it's the one that gets played. I'm crossing my fingers, fancy. Crossing my fingers for your demise. Goodbye. You fought well. This does suck mostly, though. Now, the way that we win. Let me explain the win. We can draw. A voracious Hydra. Kick Yorian in the little teeth. That does not do it. Almost does it. No need to draw cards when I can just beat Fanzi in the face. Goodbye, Nylia. Your eyes were very keen indeed. Guess who's coming back? It's gonna be our good friend. to do, man. Woohoo! That was a good dodge. I mean, we could still be dead, but... Alright, well. There are ways of making this work. Might be a bad idea. There are ways of making this work. And one of the big ways of making this work is just drawing a Ceratops. That's one of the ways to make this work. Ceratops would be great. Not quite a Serapal. But does this, is this still enough? Because if I make this X equals three, then that's four mana. Because it's reduced by one. Oh my god. Fuck. I now know how we're going to do it. I now know how we're going to do this. It's, it's all on the sideboard. It's all on the sideboard. Just wait. Just you wait. Because in the sideboard, the Satishan Petitioner needs to get the hell out of here. And what we need is Destiny Spinners. All my creatures become uncounterable. And this is it. It's Spinner time. Nah, Ram, Ram, Ram Through would be pretty, pretty bad. Ram Through is a pretty bad card. The reason why Ram Through sucks is that we would board it out against uh, control because it needs a unit to target. It needs a unit to target. Not good enough. We don't have a billion rampers in there. We have a billion rampers. Let's do it. All right. This is our time to shine. We're trying to lure us. So, I don't think I have any life gain in here right now. We, j we just removed the Satessian Petitioners. 
We did a gem razor to blow stuff up, which is pretty tight. Oh, we have food! We have food! Oh, yeah. Well, that's really bad news. I don't like to see that one. Not one bit. I'm taking a risque risk, man. We're getting the Bampus Rampus going, man. Mm-hmm. 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 I'll be forced to block right here. We might be able to just heal through this. Block, block. This is this is a peculiar one. We have we have some defense up. We're just gonna hang out. You got it, my friend. Welcome back. You have got it. This loop is so fucking infuriating. Get rid of the big boys. Put in all the graft diggers' cages. The gem razor. Scared about these voracious hydras, man. This can fuck us. Put in the multi ramp guy. I don't think we need the two threes. I think we we, we need something big and pay off here, right? I don't want to go full defense, but I do want some defense. I want some good defense. I think four graph diggers cages immediately feels like too much. Nice. I'm keeping this. I think I need three Graf Diggers cages. I really, really want to try to crush it. I think the Satessan Petitioners might be good. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Time to cry. Like, no card is good for us here. Uh. Holy sh 
shit, man. Just, just, just end, end, end this game. End my suffering. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, all right, we're gonna do one more. I will play one Satessan Petitioner in my life, and it will feel good. Do you do donation decks? I don't. I sit here and suffer uh, and play my own creations. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. How was my day, dude? It was good. We went 3 0, uh, and then we. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna call it two 3 0s in a row. Looks good. In draft, and then we went 1 2. Now we're playing one of my favorite archetypes ever, which is everybody's favorite the Mono Green Rampy Rampy. Oh, God. Oh, the Priest of the Forgotten Gods. God. Don't play two creatures in Sacrifice. Helpful to have. I need to get a bunch of Lanor Elves in here too, man. Yeah, Jacob Godsers. It's been overall a pretty good day. Overall pretty good. I have a little bit of stress, a little bit of pandemic related stress, but I think so as most people, man. Get four birds of paradise while you're at it? Yes, please. I don't even know why I try to do this deck. I don't even know why I'm giving this a shot. Why would I run a deck? Why would I make any deck other than a companion deck? Yes, and now says Mardu Knights is so much fun. Mardu Knights actually might be. You know, let's let's actually take a quick peek at this. <coughs> yeah, she get me get me out of here. Get me out of here. Yeah, I mean the uh Okay. I'm I'm curious about making this thing work. Let's go to the decks. Let's try out Mardu. Night. Put in some of these. Actually, just show me the gold, guys. Oh, do I have to do them one at a time, like this? There's a couple of the good knights. This, this is legendary humans, huh? Yeah, like, I remember seeing someone talk about a Mardu list. Let me actually just take a peek here. It's General's Enforce. I mean, this card does seem good. Why do I even want to do this?
Okay, so there are, uh, what's his name, Dranith or something? Dranith, Dranith, Dranith. Yeah, Kudro Dranith. Put in a bunch of these. Craft all, yeah. Um, I remember this one having 23 land. And then there's only one other three mana card. Let's see, Inspired Veteran. Knights you control get plus one, plus one. Other humans you control get plus one, plus one. And everyone's a human knight. Everybody's human knight. Yeah, there's some. There, it feels like there's something here. I want all the two mana guys. All the two manas. Knight. Zoom out. Go to the right. Fast, fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we want... Fervent Champion, Yaha. Knight of the Ebon Legion, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, dude, this is standard for sure. Don't even worry about it. Oh, I'm Fist Crusader. Humans. Maybe Sky Knight Vanguard is actually like legit in that situation. I want this to be just like fast as hell. Ah, oh, God, I swear to God, I saw this really cheap Mardu list that I was like, oh yeah, I gotta do that one. Oh yeah, for sure. Top. Da -da 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 -da. this the one? This is the one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, ah, uh, right, 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 right. All right. Okay, so it has Fervent Champion. It has, it has the three good one drops in there. And then it has a Stormfist Crusader inspiring. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, right. Okay, yeah. So then it runs everyone's favorite card. It runs four of these. And then it runs Worthy Knight. Worthy. Whenever you cast a Knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Yeah. And then it goes like Drill Bit. Dire Tactics. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one. Maybe something like this. Mardu Agro Knights. Should probably run an Ember Cleave, but I don't care. Yeah. All right, let's look at land. Let's put in everything with a two in it. So we go one, two, three, four. And that runs three swamps? No, wait. Four, 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 four. Yes, it's just lots and lots and lots of the number four. Four U. And then we run four U. And we run four U. And then we just. Cut this down until we have three and three. Three and three, two and two. Three swamps, two plains, mountains, no problem. Mountain. This one is fine. Yeah, all right. So the idea of this is that it is stupidly aggressive. You're trying to just swing in on turn four. You just you just swing in, you disable anything that would. Cut one card and run Lurus. We have uh Dranith is is a violator of that. Deep seven. Oh dude, look at this. Oh my god, look at this. We're we're doing it. Oh my god, look at this. Oh yeah, fervent champion. Bam, there it is. Charge right on in there, my friend. It's like not an issue. Castle Embreath. Castle Embreath is an untapped land, so it's a bit dangerous to have. We just don't want it. Dun, da, 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 da. No. Oh, cruel celebrant. Not an issue. Now, if I shock this in, and then I play this, look at my knights getting huge. Look at my knights getting huge. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Goodbye. We technically could have drill bit it, but I think this is probably better. And then we're going to Draneth and give everything plus one, plus one. General Kudrow of Draneth, man. What's, what's it going to be? Our Lazatep friend. So do we swing in for mostly, mostly lethal? Right, I have a lot of General Kudros in my hand. Maybe we just die? Bang, bang, bomb. Down to six, pick up sticks, feeling pretty good. Corpse Knight, ow. And then maybe another one? Holy shit, is that it? Do we just instantly lose? Is that what happens? Is this the death? Oh my god, I can't believe we're gonna lose. Good luck to me. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're up against a deck that's a Corpse Knight, Cruel Celebrant, Aristocrats deck. We're gonna get pinged for so much. Why can't I have any fun? I think we're letting our opponent have some fun. I think maybe in one of the earlier turns I should have drill bitted earlier. I should have drill bat. Need some lifelink? Definitely don't need lifelink. Super no, man. We just gotta kill the guy. I am an aggro deck. I need no such thing as lifelink. Rule Celebrant is pretty tight. Oh yeah. There it is. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, we're against Joe Fish. Damn it. Is Constructor just companions everywhere? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's essentially, yep. Essentially, yep. Here a Precinct 1 in this. I'm not running any because Worthy Knight uh, triggers on all knights, not just gold cards, and this is faster. Would Judith be worthwhile? Eh, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. I don't actually necessarily think it's that the companions themselves are a bad general design. I just think that right now they're quite powerful. You know, it's kind of like, do you guys remember when Planeswalkers first came out? Planeswalkers and Magic were fucking terrible when they first came out. It was like a six mana Planeswalker whose plus one was gain two life, you know? It was, it, you, you look at it and you'd be like, ugh. Ugh. Go in for the damage. Very well. All right, now where was I? This deck could also suck. Shaka says, back then, we were the Planeswalker. 
Actually, what, what, what were the first Planeswalkers? Because I'm not saying old Planeswalkers were bad. I'm saying, like, the first Planeswalkers were bad. What were the first Planeswalkers? MTG. Yeah, like, like this this Planeswalker. It's a four-mana Planeswalker. It has a plus one that says, search your library for a card named Nissa's Chosen and put it onto the battlefield. That's the plus one. Or the plus one, you gain two life for each elf you control. The minus seven is sick. Search your library for... Search your library for any number of elf cards and put them onto the battlefield. But this Planeswalker started out with two loyalty and cost four. A Johnny Goldmane? Yeah, it was a four-mana Planeswalker. Whose thing said gain, gain two life was his plus one. I mean, it's just like they were so underpowered. We did it, everyone. We, we did it. We got him. We won the game. Number one. But yeah, no, I kind of feel like the same thing with companions. That I can imagine some fucking terrible... I imagine some terrible, terrible, terrible companions, and they just went, no, let's make the ones that we actually think are pretty reasonable. And yeah, they might be too strong, they might not. But I, overall, I love the idea behind the design, like, a lot. Alright, this is our last game. We've been streaming longer than we need to stream because magic is fun right now. Alright. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oops, I need to put, play this one first. <laughs> Even though it's usually the first cycle of a new thing is usually overpowered. Look at the first equipment. Or the packs. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's, come on, let's play this one. I almost just smashed the tournament ground out out of eagerness. That would have been a mistake. You guys remember the packs? A pack, for any of you who don't know, is a card that says you can cast it for zero. It's become a wide boy. cost zero, and at the start of your next turn at upkeep, you have to pay four of some variety of colors, and if you don't, you lose the game. Like, you literally lose the game. So, I mean, these cards were, like, real, real weird. So there was, like, ways of making your opponent cast, like, a green pact, where you would then need green mana to be able to cast it, because you made your opponent cast it, then at the start of their turn, they'd have to pay green mana. And if they didn't, they would lose the game. I mean, there was some bullshit, dude. It was so good. All right. To win by Winota or to lose by Winota? That is the quest, the question. All right, let's be up against two agents of treachery. That's what I'm thinking is the fairest thing. It's the most fair thing that I can think of. Let's just, let's just see what happens. First comes Agent of Treasury, that's one, that's okay. Maybe the Inspired Tactician, that's fine. The real question is, what is the second one going to be? Okay. If 
parts. Come on through. That does help. attacks. None at all. Let's see if we can do this. We have to go to combat. Here it comes. Has to go to combat. <laughs> We're going to go to combat. can't do anything about this. Oh, and then these assholes deal one damage to me. Speaking of dying on upkeeps... Get me out of here. Okay, you know, I actually, I feel like with magic, I feel like with magic right now, the Lurus, Yorian, and Winota decks are so much more powerful than everything else. Unless something else gives. Oh, Gyruda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Basha aggro's tight. Yeah. Jesus. All right. I'm going to go into the think tank. I'm going to come back on Tuesday, and we're going to be doing some playing. Tuesday, we're going to be doing some playing. Um, tomorrow, we're going to play Factorial. Monday, we're going to play Mostly Walking. I'll see you all then. We'll see you all then. It'll be good.